let's discuss about pn junction about pn junction the most important thing which all of you should keep in mind is all major semiconductor devices have one or more pn junctions almost in all semiconductor devices there are pn junctions which efficiently govern the flow of charge carriers how it happens we will discuss in detail we can write as the name implies it is a combination of a p type and a n type semiconductor most of the student feel that it is made up by joining a p type and an n type semiconductor but it is not we can write about uh, its formation that uh, it is formed when a single semiconductor crystal is doped with the acceptor atoms on one side and donor atoms on other side always remember that a pn junction is formed in a single semiconductor crystal when its one side is doped with the acceptor atoms that is p type impurity and on other side donor atoms are added that is n type impurity and here we can write the plane dividing these two zones is known as pn junction let's discuss a realistic situation for formation of pn junction here you can see this is a pure semiconductor crystal it may be a silicon or a germanium crystal and uh, on the two sides of the crystal simultaneously two diffusing devices are applied and uh, through one diffusing device uh, we diffuse acceptor impurity and through the other device uh, we diffuse the donor impurity and uh, as uh, donor and acceptor atoms uh, replaces some of the silicon atoms in the lattice due to this uh, on the two sides so holes and electrons uh, are produced and uh, at the interface on the left side here we can see as p type semiconductor is formed and on the right side n type semiconductor is formed electrons uh, in the right side p n type uh, semiconductor diffuses towards the holes of uh, p type semiconductor on the left side and they combine and neutralizes and uh, in the zone in the neighborhood of uh, interface becomes electrically neutral because no electron holes are present due to which uh, an electric field is established by uh, negative ions in the p side and positive ions on the n side semiconductor and uh, here we can see due to this uh, an electric field is established and due to this electric field no further flow of electrons and holes takes place and uh, the zone becomes electrically neutral and uh, when electric field stops so further flow of electrons and holes and the recombination in the middle zone this diffusion stops and uh, we can say this is uh, a central zone which is electrically neutral which is called depletion layer and this is the way how the junction is formed on one side uh, it is p type semiconductor on the other side it is n type semiconductor and the middle zone is not containing any charge carriers holes or electrons because they combine with each other neutralizes and establishing an electric field due to the ions in the semiconductors because of which no further flow of uh, these charge carriers takes place this is the way how this uh, pn junction is formed 
and always in this pn junction at the middle zone a depletion layer exists 